Bobby Rodriguez. Double kill. Do you want yourself a war, or you just want to give me a gun? <laughs> He's out. Tango spotted, running left. Tango at the end of alley. Tango spotted. I am your host, Spinxer Cell. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, what we're looking at here today is a brief overview of my custom Beretta M92. So this is a gun that I recently purchased. It is pretty much a brand new pistol to the airsoft market. It is the first M92. And when I say that, I mean it has a round trigger guard. And that's pretty much the main reason I purchased this pistol. Otherwise, I didn't even like M9s in the past. I actually kind of dislike them due to the fact that your hand can get stuck in the chamber. Uh, I really hated the square trigger guard M9s. They just look ugly. So the M9A1s just look ugly to me. The Beretta M92 and maybe a silver M9 are the only M9s that I really like. So uh, another reason I like the M9 is just the fact that you can put this Hitman comp on it. I love this. It's one of the main reasons I had to get this. Because it would just look so fucking badass with this, with this uh, Hitman comp on the front. It is built by K KWC and it is licensed by, I believe, Umarex or Elite Force. Um, so it is a full metal, heavy weight, CO2, gas blowback M9 and it goes full auto as well. So this pistol is quite special. It is the only one of its kind and I especially like the round trigger guard. So it features all real trademarks so you can see we got Beretta logos everywhere. You got them on the grip. You got the PB. The Pitro Beretta. Or Pitro. I don't know how you pronounce it. Wherever it's made. Gardon VT. You got the trademarks for the Hitman comp as well. You got that. You know, it doesn't come with it, of course. So this is aftermarket trades for an aftermarket piece. Uh, serial number is slightly covered by the comp. You, know, you got your warning logos. Mod 92A1. And right here you have the the full auto, I mean the, the semi and the full auto switch really covertly located. And you got the dots for indication. So you have your your Beretta style magazines. And it's full metal, plastic feeding lips, plastic follower. Um it does not lock at the bottom, but there is a small hole right above that to fill in your BBs with a speed loader. So it's a full metal magazine, and there's not a lot of like you know details to it, like no number markings. It's pretty basic. And you got the metal base plate, and then you have the screw to exchange your CO2 capsules. So I purchased this from evike.com for $134 plus shipping. Um, I feel it is absolutely worth it because this pistol is just so nice it is pretty much my favorite pistol right now so let's take a look at the box real quick and then we'll get into the features um this is the box it came in since i purchased this brand new of course you can see it is quite flashy and of course i can't put the pistol back in the box of the video because I got that uh got that comp so you got like your your booklets you know all that what is this I didn't see that before yeah licensed by Umarex for the Beretta trades and of course it was from Evike and I think it just came with like an allen key yeah I didn't even use it it came with an allen key to exchange CO2s so brand new and you know me, I don't usually buy my guns brand new, so this is a pistol that I just had to have. Um, let's go over features. 
So obviously you have the magazine release since I'm using that right now and this is quite the heavy. So it features this safety up top and most people don't like the M9 safety. I really don't have any problems with it as long as you keep in mind that it is, you know, it switches down. Just don't let it go down. I don't get why people in the military complain about the, the Beretta switch. The features of this safety is that um, if you put it down it will decock the hammer and return the trigger to the original position. You can manually cock the hammer as well. And you can see your white dot sights look beautiful on this gun, I must add. They look great. Um, another thing is that a lot of Berettas, Airsoft Berettas, this switch uh, likes to break off. Likes to break from a lot of Berettas I've seen on the market. But this one appears to be made of steel. And the construction of it just looks very, very tough. I can't see this switch breaking. I have heard that uh, somebody who owned this pistol, one of the first batches I guess, said they dropped it and this whole section broke, kind of like the Tim Burton Tech M9, kind of like that situation, but I don't see that happening, and of course, you're not supposed to be dropping your guns on the ground. Here is your trigger pull, it breaks towards the back, but still with the hammer cocked, it is a quite small, or I should say a quite short trigger pull and it feels great. This pistol is also double action for your first shot, so you can do a really long trigger, or a really long double action trigger before it'll fire. And unlike the FNX, it will shoot when it does that. Um, other things I can point out is that you have a very nice lightweight slide, so the blowback on this is very crisp and very, very snappy. And the CO2 also helps with that. So it's got a nice stiff spring in there, it feels great, I must say. Um, and it can be power stroked when it's, uh, you know, fully loaded again. Alright, I'm back after a second because some fucking jabronis in the golf course had to play bumper cars. Fucking dumbasses. Anyway, um, back to the pistol. Has a Picatinny rail on the very bottom. Tolerances and fitment on the gun. Don't hear much. Slide is very, uh, it's fit very well. Yeah, it's pretty good fitment. It's a very nice gun. I think it's totally worth the price. Didn't have any regrets. So, um, the trademarks are, they look like they're laser painted or something and not etched. I do have one laser plan. One tattoo plan for this gun laser etching is a Wilson Combat Eagle right here. Also plan to replace these standard Beretta grips with a uh, Beretta, no, with a Wilson Combat G10 grips or whatever they're called. Because I was inspired to get the M92 because of what I'm about to show on the screen is this specific, it's an M9 with Wilson Combat parts, which is the only reason I decided to get this so that I can turn it into a Wilson Combat just like my 1911. I did notice that the barrel or the slide slightly moves. This isn't an issue or anything, but it's not the most accurate pistol. I think I need to do more shooting with it in the backyard to really figure it out, but um, it's decent enough. Um, the front sight is, it looks like it's dovetailed, but it's actually built into the, uh, it's actually built into the slide, so you can't change it, which is not that cool. I honestly wish you could. Some fibers would look nice. And the back looks like it's dovetailed in. I'm not sure if it comes off though. So this gun originally did have an orange tip. Um, the compensator that's put on right here right now is an extended guide rod so it has to be replaced and modified in order to fit in this specific pistol. Bottom of the gun here you can see it's beveled to fit the CO2 and it does have a built in lanyard retention loop. So this gun is built very nicely out of uh, some pretty good aluminum I would guess. And um, it feels incredibly high quality in the hand. The pistol feels great, especially these grips also feel very good and texturized. It gives you a really good purchase on the gun. And it um, digs into your hand and it feels really, uh, really comfortable. Another thing I'd like to say is that the paint is a pretty good quality. It's pretty good. But I've noticed right away, almost as soon as I took it out of the box, a couple of scratches right there. This big nick right there. And then underneath this, uh, this. Other than that, the gun doesn't have any wear on it. Um, I do notice that right here, the trademark, the trademarks could rub off if you touch them too much. 
see that right here they're starting to rub off at those few letters so um yeah I think Cybergun does the same thing so the, the white trademarks they don't look that great I kinda wish they were deep laser etched like the real gun itself that'd be cooler um but yeah the the matte black look of the gun very very nice indeed I just been saying that the whole video it's just nice <laughs> um let's take a look at the comp and the comp is threaded so here is my oasis outback and it is threaded so let's check it out um if you've seen the unboxing for the hitman comp you've already seen this oh yeah that's leon the professional if there ever was an airsoft gun like that Ooh, that's that's crazy long too. Look at that. It's a long setup right there. Feels really good to hold it like this. You have this here to keep your thumb from going too high. And then the back of the grip here has a nice spot for your thumb. So very comfortable doing the thumbs forward grip. So I'm gonna go over built materials. I have a little magnet here, which is always stuck to my tripod. Um the slide, of course, the barrel and all that are aluminium. Or aluminum the safeties have some steel in them I don't think they're entirely steel we know they are they're entirely steel hammer appears to be made of aluminum screws or steel pins are steel And I'm, yeah, the magazine. Oh, magazine is uh, made completely out of steel, probably because it's a CO2 magazine. Let's take a look at the trigger. Hmm. Hammer didn't reset. Very close reset. Very nice. Short trigger pull. Last thing before I go. We're going to take a look at this assembly. So this is an M9, and I am not the best at disassembling M9s. I had quite a bit of trouble last time I did it. So you push on this, twist this, and then it should just come off. I think I had trouble with the reassembly itself. All right. So lower receiver. Pretty heavy. Whole thing is heavy. Both sides. Get your very strong spring. That silver wheel right there is your hop up. I like how it's silver. It just looks cool. It's probably made of steel as well. And then the rest of your internals. Um, this is the guide rod, the aftermarket guide rod that came with it. As you can see here, it doesn't have the little thing anymore, the little thing that was sticking off of it. And it needs to be modified like that in order to fit in this gun. Yeah. So it'll just stay right there pretty much. And then I should just be able to put it back together. And hopefully I don't run into any issues. Because I do have the, the fucking comp on there. Alright, so this has been a brief overview of my custom, slightly custom Beretta Mod 92A1. Very nice pistol. I will be using this pretty much for the rest of the year. I have a lot of other pistols. You're going to see some gameplay from those as well. I'm not going to neglect them. But um, yeah, uh, I will. you will see this pistol Rolling. again yep. when it has received it's, its next upgrade, the Wilson Combat Grip quite pricey so it's going to be a little while oh, and I have shit. a lot of other stuff planned cool. so a lot more videos coming out soon stay tuned drop a like for having to deal with tripod issues you ever seen some wacky shit like that before that's some wacky shit <laughs>